in this introduction to Turks Head Knots video, I would like to, to further the learning and understanding of the grid diagrams. And I just want to point out in the book, I'll have a drawing of a, how to tie a knot and underneath it, I'll have wrote out the algorithm diagram. So if you're having trouble uh, calculating it or something and just want to or just want to use the algorithm to tie the knot, it is wrote here. And as you can see on this one, it has a note that uh, shows that this is a sobre on a sobre casa knot. The first coating on the left is a slash going that direction. Where on a regular, it's going the other direction. And we've talked about that in other videos. The next, on this one, I not only, I did the drawing of the five part, three byte sobre casa knot. And this is the algorithm diagram for it. But if you continue the raising process, the next knot is a nine part five byte sobre casa. And there is the algorithm diagram for it. On a seven part three byte casa knot, here's the drawing for the seven part three byte casa knot. It's a regular. There's the algorithm. It, if you use the enlargement process, the next knot would be an 11 part five byte. And there is the algorithm drawn out on it. Then, in other knots, this knot has a common denominator of two. So it takes two strands to tie. So what you're doing is you're actually tying two four part three byte Matthew Walker knots together. And you can set up the algorithm diagram to tie that knot. And as you'll see here, when you do your count value of four, you count over one, two, three, four, and you put a one. One, two, three, four, you put a two. One, two, three, four, you're back to the start. So one, two, three, or you're back to the start. You hit the zero before the knot was finished. Above all of the other ones, you put an A for the second strand. When you tie it, use the first strand and these are the numbers you use so you go through and use the numbers the second time through these have already got crossings so you tie it using the numbers only for these so that is another thing and you'll notice that this six eight part six byte casa coated knot is what they call the barber pole interweave. So some of you have already tied that knot. Well, you can calculate out how to tie it using this algorithm diagram. This knot, nine part six byte, it's got a common divisor of three. So it takes three strands to tie this. And so we're tying this knot from three three part two byte casa knots. And the same thing here, we have our count value of three and we count over one, two, three, place our one, one, two, three, we're back to zero. So now we place an A on these two and a B on these two for our three different strands. And the same thing as before, you first use the numbers and do this strand. 
Then you use the letter A and do these strands that are already got or used. And then on the last one, the A's and B's are already tied and you calculate the numbers for the blank ones. So this is just showing you the setup for using the algorithm diagram with multi-strand column coded knots. Now we're getting into the interweaves. And the first interweaves is the standard herringbone. This, here's the drawing, but underneath, here you calculate out the algorithm diagram for the base knot. And then since you're tying two five part four bike knots together, you use it again, but you have to, with a herringbone knot, the coating switches every other knot, so you have to switch them. But see how you have an under out here on this end and an under out on this end? And then you have A minus ones. The A is the number of passes. But it shows the setup of those. Here's a herringbone that is tied on top instead of underneath. See how the bites are on top? So it's the over method. On this, you set it up over here. Here's a herringbone that was regular. Herringbone that's uh, two pass. Okay, let's get to the herringbones. Well, here's a three pass and see now that the three pass is odd, A is odd, it is the same as the base knot where if it was an even number, you have to switch codes. Okay, now we're to the pineapples. On the pineapple, this is how you set up. And now you need to know what bite boundary they're on. So the A is still the number of passes. The L is the left bite boundary of the knot you're tying. And R is the right bite boundary of the knot that you are tying. And that's how you set that up. Here's doing it with a, a type one, two pass. Here it is for a three pass. So this is a type two pineapple. So these are the algorithm diagram is set up at the bottom of the pictures so as you go through the book you'll be able to see how you use and set up and that's a type three three pass okay sobri pineapples that's how you you can see how you set those up uh this is a herringbone pineapple knot horn knot you can see how you set up a horn knot. This is a hood knot. You can set up the algorithm diagram for a hood knot. So I just wanted to show you that there is many ways that you can set up. This is a hood knot. This coating. There's a grant knot. You can set up the algorithm diagram for tying a grant knot. So I just wanted to point out how good a tool the algorithm diagram is for tying knots. Now I don't use it much for an interweave because once you tie your base knot, you can follow the uh, base knot to tie interweaves. But sometimes you just need to know how it was tied. And you can do that from an algorithm diagram. I want to thank you for watching this. And I hope that it has opened some doors to some new ideas. Thank you for watching.